Orleans has always been a fascinating place to me. So imagine my surprise when I found a very interesting case from there. The Axeman of New Orleans was a brutal and still unidentified person who was allegedly responsible for the deaths of about half a dozen people between May 1918 and October 1919. During the Axeman's reign, the police struggled in vain to piece together a profile for him. His MO involved breaking into victims' homes and using their own tools and weapons against them. He preferred to use an axe, which is where he got his nickname. In some of the earliest known murders of the axe man, a straight razor was used to slash victims' throat. Most of the victims were Italian-American, which sparked rumours that the crimes were committed by a mafia hitman. While criminologists on the case suspected the killer was targeting women and only killing male victims when females were not home. But the truth might have been a bit more bizarre than that. The police received a strange letter on March the 13th, 1919 from a man claiming to be the Axeman, in which he comes across as the world's most crazy jazz fan. The letter said, I am very fond of jazz music and I swear by all the devils and the nether regions that every person shall be spared in whose home a jazz band is in full swing at the time that I have just mentioned. If everyone has jazz band going, well then, so much better for you people. One thing is certain, and that is that some of your people who do not jazz it on Tuesday night, if there be any, will get the axe. The newspapers published the letter and then there was a huge wave of nocturnal jazz sessions arranged by people who believed they could keep the killer at bay. It is said that anybody who played jazz on those evenings was not murdered by the axe man. It even inspired a creepy novelty tune entitled The Mysterious Axe Man's Jazz. This tune is available in the description of the video if you want to have a listen to it afterwards. After murdering my Peppertoni on the October the 27th, 1999, the Axe Man promptly vanished without a trace. Or so it would seem. The murders themselves have become the stuff of legend and populated culture. He's sort of a mythical boogeyman, but so famous is he that he managed to make his way into American Horror Story, played by the actor Danny Houston. So that's our short tale of The Axeman of New Orleans. <laughs>